so it comes in this box right here which was super duper heavy and as you can see it says the 20 cube organizer which means it has 20 cubes inside the box we have of course the pieces and things like that to put it all together now I'm not gonna lie it already looks difficult and I kind of already looked through it low key and I didn't see any, any, any instructions but hopefully when I take everything out there is some instructions in here because I literally don't know what the heck I am doing so I wish me luck So I just took everything out and this are all the pieces and here's the little pamphlet of how to put it together and um yeah so let's get started. So you guys I completed one off of camera and this is how it looks it's literally a cube. And I'm so excited because I'm about to build me a closet, a cute closet, whatever you want to call it. But, um, so yeah, this is how one of them looks. Just one. And there's 19 more. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it on camera. But this is, this is how one of them looks right now. So you take this part right here. This thing has four sides for the slots to connect into. So the four slots to connect to upwards. But on the side, like on towards like the bottom of it, it has this opening right here for this to slide onto. So let me show you guys because I'm working with one hand. All you do is slide this part into here. And I'm kind of struggling because I'm doing this with like one hand. So you take this slot right here. You put it onto this. Like that. So it's like this. When it's laid flat. So now that you have this piece onto here. Take another one. And do it to the same side. So to the top side. So just slide this onto here. Like so. Slide that on there. Then you take another one of your pieces um depending on if you want it to show you know it doesn't really matter how it goes but so if you want the inside to show like the design to show on the inside you flip it this way if you want it to be regular black you flip it this way but i'll just flip it <laughs> i'll flip it this way so you see how that slot is going into there Slide that right there, and then slide that onto there. So now that you have this, I'm gonna take another one, and you're just gonna simply. So you just. So in order to make the top connect, all you have to do is push these two together like that. And push those together like that. Now for the top of it, you take another one. And you place it on top and you just slide it into the slots. You guys, I'm going to do another one so you guys can see it. So, I wish somebody could hold this thing. So all you have to do is slide this into that slot and slide it into that slot and then you have a key. Okay, so now that it's all cubed up together, now we have the front part, which is this part right here, the gray part, and this goes like this in order to close it. Um, it's very easy to get this on the wrong side, but this is the front side. You want to get it to the side where um, this the shiny part right here facing the front. 
because this, if you put it on this way, is obviously backwards. So, yeah. All you have to do is little part, this slot right here, goes into this slot right here. So, just push it in. Just push it in like so. And then on the top as well. Fuck. Bro, this shit is... Okay, so after your first cube, um, I forgot to mention this in the last part. You guys want to make sure that this is facing upwards instead of flat. So, so have this facing upwards rather than facing it flat because this allows you to stack another one so all you have to do to fix this problem is just take it off like this it's really damned up in there now and put it on stand it upwards oh my gosh this is so difficult filming one hand so stand it upwards like that so all of them has to be facing upwards so you can stack the cubes up together What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. So now I have to use these racks because I was kind of running out of these things right here. So I guess the additional seven comes from the racks. As you can see, I had to start using the racks because I was run running out of the black um, panels or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <clears throat> and yeah, so using the racks makes it more transparent, obviously because you know you don't see the black so yeah okay so as i was finishing the unit um I, I was running out of these so i thought i couldn't put the rest of them together but what i found out is that we're not supposed to put the connectors right here on this end they're supposed to look like this so it's not supposed to be a connector on the right end of it because the back already supports it so you save more of these instead of running out and using these so it's really supposed to look like this instead of this instead of have a connector right there so 
that saves a lot of these which will allow you to finish the whole entire thing which is 20 cute so right now I just have 14 of these and I just got five more to go and then we're all done okay you guys so this is a finished product um, it's all 20 cubes stacked up upon one another and it's very it's so convenient like it's my favorite thing in this room in my entire room like I love my vanity whatever let me know if you guys want a tour of this and my band and stuff like that but I love this Unico closet y'all like it just has so much storage space and even at the bottom um so we just open it up and I show you guys so yeah like open it up and you have your storage here and I have things over here too so y'all if you guys don't have a lot of storage in your room or in your closet space like you don't have a lot of closet space then I will highly 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 recommend the Unico closet organizer um, DIY set it took me about three hours but that's because I was recording <sighs> another thing that I want to mention is that I had to buy extra um, connectors because I ran out so it has on Amazon and purchased a few more but after I did it was you know pretty cool these are very sturdy as you can see um, I don't know how much weight it holds up to but it's really sturdy y'all I'm pushing down on it and it's really convenient so yeah like I said if you guys don't have a lot of storage space closet space if you need this for your towels if you need this for your hair your um, fabrics your knitting supplies let me know you guys um <clears throat> I mean if you need this for your knitting if you need this for any type of supplies I would recommend going ahead and purchasing this thing right here so yeah y'all that's pretty much it let me know if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if it was helpful for you um and yeah you guys i'll see you in the next video